And we have Liftoff. Thank you so much for tuning in to Planet and Cardio Podcast, Boys Planet Edition. We are your host, Anissa Robin. We were so glad to have you here for the finale of Boys Planet, an Mnet survival show hosted by Mnet, obviously, where 98 boys are all, all around the world come together to form a nine-member boy group under Wake Run. Yay! Mm-hmm. We're done. We're finished. Finito. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Oh, okay, no, he didn't make it. <laughs> he really didn't. <laughs> Come dance. No, you need to see my arm. Come dance. With... No, he said, you tell a dance floor. He recreated it at their little pajama party thing. He said, I was like, oh, okay. But he didn't give but he didn't give the 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 his like waist. He, he needed didn't... the audience energy. That's he why. sure did. Cause he swung <laughs> that waist like he was a salsa dancer. I said, I know that's right. Mm. Shame. Shame. So, shame. <laughs> let's get into it. Do you actually want to talk about both of the performances, Hot Summer and Jelly Pop? Any Jelly Pop brief? was great. Hot Summer was dry. Yeah, I thought. See, when they gave us the little snippets, I thought I would like Hot Summer over Jelly Pop. And then when they performed, I was like, "Oh, Jelly Pop is actually a lot better than Hot Summer." Maybe because I also like felt like the members of Jelly Pop is really shine in that song. Hot Summer was dry. I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, I was here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start checking my email. I got other things to do. Mm-hmm. And then their Another Dream was cute, but it didn't top Another Dream. I noticed in their Another Dream, they had Hanbin, <laughs> what is it really uh, called? Zhang Hao. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot the song name. I I just said their Another Dream. I didn't even realize I said that. Like, it just came out naturally. I, I, I started the train and you yeah. continued it. So it's not your fault. <laughs> I forgot the name of the song. Maybe like We're Not Alone or something like yes, that. Yes, you're oh, so not right. alone, right? Okay, yes. okay, okay. No, okay. you're so right. You're so right. Oh, thank goodness. But I noticed Hanbin was sent to, <clears throat> and then Zhang Hao and then Yujin. And I was like, oh, that man's debuting. <laughs> I love how Yujin's nine. I said, like, yeah. good. The aunties didn't get their way. You know what? We have nothing to say about these performances. Let's go right into the rankings. So I'll say the rankings um, in order from rank mm-hmm. one to nine. You should, no, wait, go from 18 to one. Oh, I don't have rank 18. So let me go ahead and open the app now. Give okay. me a second. I can tell you who, who's rank 18. Male Young Gun. He did not make it. Good for me. Oh, wait, not good for me. I thought you were talking about someone else. Okay, so rank 18. <laughs> yeah, he's a good for me. <laughs> so I go 18 to 1. Rank 18, Yoon Jongwoo. 17, Cam Den. Yes, that's uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, 16, Sungun. 15, Jong Hyun. 14, John Hyun. Yes. Oh, my, I'm telling you, when I tell you, that this is perfect, I'm telling you. 13 was Huey. 12, I'm so sorry. I'm being so petty right now. Someone in the comments is going to be like, you know, John Hyun was my one pick. Why would you cheer like that? But anyways, 12 is Kate. It's K-Tan. nice. This is reverse girl planning because I it is. was mean and I had things to say. <laughs> now I can be the angel. Yeah. So <laughs> number 12, Kata. Mm-hmm. 11 is Park Hanbin. 10 mm-hmm. is Jay, which I am sad, sad about. Jay. So in the debut team, zero, mm-hmm. what was his name? Zero, zero base. base one. Z that's one. ugly. That's, that's like ugly. That name. I wanted Cosmics. I mean, we weren't getting Cosmics, but I also wanted, I wanted Diggle Mix, actually. N- that's for next season. <laughs> uh, We weren't getting Cosmics. So I was like, okay, ZB, ZB, ZB who, one. Who is suggested nice. that? No one. You know who suggested it? Some auntie in the the, the CJ E&M building. I think Mnet, like, thinks up names that they want, and then they just ask fans in case the fans think of something better. You know what I mean? We and thought of better names there. Who wanted z- Zero Yeah, base. Giggle Mix was a great name. But okay, you know what? They have these babies debuting. They should have been Giggle Mix. But anyways, number nine, rank nine is Han Yujin. Eight is Jiwoong, seven, Yuvin, six, Tere, five, Gunwook, four, Ricky. I know that's right. It's Ricky. Three, Matthew, two, Sung Hanbin, and number one, Zhang Hao. 
Sorry, that was loud, but beautiful. You want to go ahead and say your thoughts? Yes, these are my thoughts right away. I wanted Zhang Hao to be rank one. Actually, I should say part of me didn't want him to be rank one because I was like, he might get hate for it. But the other part of me was like, they rigged Sakura out of rank one. They, they, people are saying in Girls Planet, oh, we can't have a foreigner be center. People are saying all this. You know what? That's when I was like, I need the global center for this season to be the center of the group. I'm so glad. Once they started to call like rank six, I think by rank six, they didn't say Ricky. And I was like, I don't think there's going to be any like by rank. OK, so nine, eight, seven, six, all Korean. And by rank six, when it was Tay I was like, this is about to be a Korean group. And it's only going to be Matthew and Zhang Hao. <laughs> Ricky pulled a Eugene. Yes, but like not just Ricky. When they called Gunwook at rank five, I was genuinely shocked because I thought if he got in, maybe he would be rank nine. I told you. I don't know what he was going to do. He didn't pull a, a die young, but he was going to get in. I don't know what he was going to do, how he was going to do it. I just you know, knew he was getting in. Maybe low key, he kind of pulled a, a Mashiro. Well, like maybe a lower, lower picked low Mashiro. Effort, low version. Yeah, like he, version. like he was pretty good in every performance and his fan base was like always there for him. I just didn't see it. I always thought he was like a filler pick that people liked, but not enough for one pick. Okay, okay, I, I'm getting it. I don't think Mastro is like target version either because I feel like mm, I, it's shady, but she's like Kmart. And then mm. like Gunwook, Kmart's like only in New York now. <laughs> Kmart's done, but Gunwook, is Walmart version. He's the great value. I can see that. But it's fine. Yeah. Because it still works. I was so happy when he was announced because I genuinely was like, he, he's either not going to get in or he's going to be rank nine. So I'm sitting here waiting for rank nine. And then my day just kept getting better because then they announced Ricky and I was like, whoa. Ricky was another one that I was like, if he's getting in, it's going to be rank nine. Otherwise, he's not getting in. You were expecting the shouting. Yeah, exactly. Well, we weren't yeah. expecting that for shouting. We were expecting her to be like number three. But anyway. Yeah. Yep. I'm happy everyone is happy. There's actually a lot of people who are upset because there's a lot of people who wanted like Keita. And then now they showed the interim. I told y'all he was he was touching me you and no one was trying to listen to me. I told y'all he was me you. It was either you that. saying he's Miyu or me saying he's Ruichi. So I don't know how people thought he was going to debut. Again. I was like, no, he's Miyu. Yeah. He's, it was giving me the same energy in the top, mm -hmm. but not going to debut. I just felt it. I think once, I think it was around when they announced yeah. Gunwook in rank five or Ricky for rank four. Like they were showing Keita a lot and he was like tearing up. And I was like, oh, this man's not debuting. He's not debuting. So Ray needs to go and do something for Cypher and make it happen, Captain, because yeah. he got all this fans, so y'all need to re-debut him or mix him up or or let him out his contract so he can debut with, with Jay and, and some other people, because you know they like to snatch these these uh, trainees like Infinity Stones. But if you yeah. get the right Infinity Stones, you can make something out of it. Because mm -hmm. AB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or whatever that group is with those boys from one one, two of them, they had a good, you know, they had a good run. But I, again, you have to have that momentum when you re debut or debut these boys after these produced groups or after producer, whatever these seasons, you have to keep going. They just expect all this to happen. And that's the problem with these companies. That's a whole other conversation. But I don't hate to. In the right management can do well. Jay, I am not, I'm just not worried about it because mm -hmm. he's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I just feel it. Like I, if anyone from this show was going to be fine that did not need this show, but need, like did not need the group, but need the show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like needed the show, but not the group is Jay. Mm -hmm. Please, I, I, I want, I, and I didn't even come in with him as a fan. I just know he's going to be okay. Yeah. Like he's going to debut in another group. Mm -hmm. and if anything it's probably better that he does it there yeah i hope it's like a company that actually knows what the heck they're doing yeah he doesn't 
I'm sure he's getting a lot of like calls Love now. Letters. He just needs to pick. Yeah, he needs to pick the right one. That's all. But he'll be fine. I mean, I also wanted, I wanted, see, this is the thing, not to be petty, but I feel like Eugen and Guven are kind of the same person to me. So I didn't want them both in the group. Well, so I was hoping, meant you. Exactly. So I was hoping that only one would get in. And mm -hmm. then between rank nine, I was hoping, like, when we got to rank nine, I was hoping that it would be between Jay and Keita. Mm. But it ended up being Eugen. So, but honestly, I'm not, I'm not really that mad because I still like this lineup. Like, I really wanted Ricky in. And then I like most of the boys, like I said before. And everyone that I didn't want in, to, in the group, they didn't get in. I don't mind Yuvin and Eugen, but there's certain guys I'm just like, I don't want you in this group. And they didn't get in. So I'm like, I actually feel like I won this time. It's seven out of nine of my picks. And then my one pick got in. I'm happy for you all. I just don't care. Yeah. In a sense where it's just like, this is the best of a bad situation for me. Yeah. This this is, I know people aren't going to get it. It's lacking flavor. Really? It's lacking flavor. I already knew that this lineup is very predictable. I needed spice. That's actually true. This lineup is pretty much predictable. The only I mean, thing that was unpredictable were the rankings. Right. I mean, you know, maybe a few trainees could have been interchanged, like mm -hmm. three. But uh, I'm not mad. I'm just like, eh, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I tried and none of my efforts worked. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like, I am not as, I'm not emotional at all. I, I'm just, I'm agnostic to it. I just, I'm like, eh, I'm just mm -hmm. like, eh, you know? But, whew, after Girls Planet, I'm okay. I'm like, am I going to lose every time? You're used to your win streak. That's why. And then Girls Planet ruined it. <laughs> really? Well, yes. It, and Girls Planet ruined it in the hardest No, way. it didn't. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't just ruin it. Like, it was terrible for you. It was terrible for you. <laughs> but, okay. like, once again, I just have to blame Mnet for that. Because I feel like if we weren't locked into the cell system and the KCJ picking... I feel like there would be a lot more panic voting in between, like, oh, I didn't realize this trainee is not safe. People like, and the lineup would be more realistic rather than getting someone like, how did Huang Ching Cho make it to the finale? I feel like if the if it was free to pick anyone, I don't think that she would have made it. Here's the deal. If I look back at it, I should have been voting for her. But is that even still, even still, nothing would have changed. Yeah. I should have thought like logically. And, and even nothing will change, but I'm like, all right, girl, you're there. But yeah, either Bo or I or her still wouldn't have changed. It would have, it would have been another universe. But uh, I just want to talk about this. I have multiple comments, and it's about the whole Mnet survival franchise. Mm -hmm. First off, let's get into this. All y'all people saying, well, Promise Nine had the greatest lineup. Well, I is the one. Let's let's get this very clear. When these groups debuted, and I was there through all of it, mm -hmm. there was no one, like, there was people that were very disappointed with the lineup. It's Thomas Nine were very disappointed. Sorry. They wanted Natty, mm -hmm. and they wanted a girlfriend from uh, Produce 101. And wasn't Natty rank one? So they literally ranked out, rigged out rank one. She was rank one from the first go round. And then what's her name? Ha in or Ha Ha Ben or she was in Produce 101 mm -hmm. and she was close but no cigar. And ironically, they rigged her rank to number 11 in Promise Nine. Like in the idol school, they rigged her number 11, which is very, very like shady. Because mm -hmm. if she was ranked 11 in Produce 101, she would have got in. So mm -hmm. that's like really shady. But come to find out, her rank was actually number one. They ranked her completely. They sorry. They rigged her completely out, and then they told her because she was signed under Wake One, or Stone Music at the time. Why are you complaining? You're you're like, your name is uh trending in Korea like, search bars more than the group itself. You're you won, but she oh I remember that. But she didn't win because mm -hmm. they said they're gonna re they're gonna debut her, and they never debuted her, and she left. Salty and bitter out of the industry. 
So please do not say that your group or MMX or whatever is, I'm sorry I'm getting so heated about this, but don't say your lineup is better than this lineup or whatever, because especially from this nine, because I support them. Anyone that knows me at all, especially 2017, 2018, you can find, you 2018 at KCON, you can find me covering as they were covering uh, Dugan Dugan. I'm in the MNES footage, so don't tell me I'm not a fan, all right? I've been a fan since day one. Everyone who knows me knows this. I knew it was rigged, but I just accepted it. But don't say that your version or your favorite in that group is better than any other. And the lineup is so amazing because every every lineup has its own issue. So here's the funny thing. I noticed that a lot of people who are like Eyes One had the perfect lineup. They didn't watch the show. They got into Eyes One after debut. And then they're saying this is the perfect lineup. You didn't watch the show because even then people were mad about the lineup. They're mad that there wasn't enough Japanese girls. People were mad. I don't know if that many people were mad about Gavin because I was. I know I, was, I saw a lot of people mad about Chowan. A lot of people okay. were mad. Okay. From my side, it was the other way around. Oh, really? So I, I maybe because we're just on different sides of the internet, which happens often mm -hmm. uh, with anybody. Um, let me get into it because it, again, you we we met during this era. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh so for me, number one. <laughs> and shout out to my old job. Y'all let me watch produce 48 in at work with <laughs> and act in what and allow me to act like a madman. I'm like doing stuff and I'm like, oh, how? And they're like, what is wrong, Robert? And I'm like, oh nothing. It's just, you know, something. I'm just watching this. And I'm like, we got both of them. Like, I'm yelling, like, we got Haywan and Mindu. How is this happening? But anyway, <laughs> uh, shout out to them. That was a crazy time. Uh, first off, let's get into it. We Majority of us that weren't Delulu all knew that lineup was rigged. We just mm -hmm. accepted it. I, I had to accept it. Because I just knew I, from the moment they did Nekoya, yeah, I said, I know this group is my taste. I have to just get on board with it because I know they're going to make music I'm going to like. Mm -hmm. I just have to accept this. Mm -hmm. And the hardest pill to swallow is because I knew Wan Young was not number one. And if you ask my spirit, she's not even number two. Oh, I don't think so. She's number seven. I know it. Seven? I, she was kind of giving five to me. No, that's too much. She's I in my heart. Mm -hmm. I know she's number seven. And I and y'all can be mad if you want to. I just know she's number seven. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I don't even have to be sorry about it. Like, I know she's number seven. I, I also firmly believe there was more Japanese in, uh, trainees in that lineup, but they will never admit it. Mm -hmm. And they will only admit the Korean trainees that they rigged out. Because otherwise it would be an international incident. It will be, a, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It will be an international scandal. Mm -hmm. And who do you think, I, in my heart of hearts, who do I think truly made it from? I think Miyu actually did make it. Oh, wow. I, I think she actually did make it. I think she made it. I think she's the actual number 12th member. Mm -hmm. She made it for sure. I think Judy, I think she made it too. Yeah. I think she made it too. I think, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but I think she made it too. I think, uh, uh, Girlfriend from uh, NNB or whatever, Shido. Uh, she, Shidoma, Mi, is it Shidoma Miu? Yes, Miru. I think she made it. Yeah, those are my it. two as well. I thought and it was I, Miu. Mm -hmm. One of the Miu's, I forgot which one. Shidoma Miu. Miru and, and Miu. And for my third, I thought it was going to be, I think, Sai or, or no, Takehasha Jury. Sai, no, she didn't Sai, have a Sai, same fan base like that. Sai uh, got eliminated at, at the, the semifinals. Yeah, so I thought it was Jury or between those two, basically. In a perfect world, mm -hmm. I would love Sai, but she was too woman. Well, maybe that's why she was rigged out, because Gone was too woman, too. No, everything was legit until the finale. But back to Boys Planet, that's so, partially yeah. one of the reasons why I feel like this lineup is kind of perfect is because I don't want to say perfect, but as good as it can get for an yeah. MNET reality show is that I think they perfected the voting system. Uh -huh. 
you can change the voting system how you want. Like people always ask, oh, what if they did nine pick at the end and blah, blah, blah. But for how they have it set up where it's nine until one pick at the end, I think they perfected it where you can pick whoever you want from the beginning. Right. Everything they did for Girls Planet was totally That's messed whack. up. There's what? still so many like little things that would change here and there. But I feel like for how they set up the show, this was as good as the lineup was going to get pretty much. Right. Well, this is our podcast. So I'll speak on how I feel. Mm hmm. I feel I don't feel sal salty for Boys Planet because at least I feel it's more genuine. Yeah. Sure, they did their manipulation. They they definitely they they definitely puppeted if the the the, the, the most they could with mm -hmm. their interim rankings and and all that. We get that. We get that. But I think Girlfriend was highly manipulated. Planet passes and and all that shenanigans. It was just stupid. This is off topic, but on topic. I wanted a different group from Girls Planet. We all know this. But what's funny is the group, the kind of vibe that I think they wanted for Kepler, I wanted that from Chuang. Yeah. I, but the reason why it works for Chuang is because they were women. <laughs> Grown women mm -hmm. being women. And it, think of them, think of Bon Bon doing that hard stuff. I would have loved it because it made sense. Mm -hmm. And they have vocal to prove it, but I digress. Anyway, back to Boys Planet. It's all right. I'm not mad. Yeah. So I guess we'll see what they do from here. The other thing, too, is that there's no Japanese trainee in this lineup. Yeah, sure, right. But honestly, I think that was on whoever was voting for the Japanese trainees, whoever was like the overhead figure, whoever that decided the Japanese pick that we want was Keita. That was a terrible decision from episode three and on, you know. I think they should have picked someone Haruto. else. And if it was up to me, I would say Haruto, but I don't think that Koreans like him visually. But it I think y'all should have picked Hiroto, but that is just me. But I don't you know why. You have to no pick one... someone who's also getting screen time from Mnet. You know what I mean? But they took kind of until like episode three. Well, I think I I mean just for the Japanese picks in general. Oh, sure. Not there was a few that got screen time, but it's like none of them really stuck. You know what's funny? Ricky pulled a lot of shy Bing energy and still made it. Good for him. Not really. He was really quiet. Well, he, he was, I mean, he was quiet, but he was just like, we got to get this done. We got to do this. We I think the forward. problem with Shy Bing is that she was very vocal every time there was a frustrating event. Mm -hmm. I think Ricky, like 25% of the time, he was vocal about it. Every, the, every, like every other time, he would just keep his mouth shut. You know what I mean? Do you think so that sometimes. Kind of made it look like that too, a little bit? No, like even in the finale, he just looks quiet and sometimes uh, slightly lost you, you know what i mean de demeanor is a little different yeah i just think okay. that's just how he is basically fair, fair yeah i'm so happy he got in i'm happy for everyone else mm -hmm. i'm still not winning but i'm happy that everyone but you know what it's okay if you don't win for a boy group because it's just a boy group anisa i don't have a group to stay in it's almost three years <laughs> i've been losing for a long time mm. Do you All have right any here. any final comments? I think we should wrap up soon. Um. Yeah. So what do I have to say? I, I people to look out for. Manifestations. Mm -hmm. Takuto, hype boy, let's go, hype. We need you in there. I don't need you in no random group. I don't need you in no struggle. Mm -hmm. You're you were born in two thousand and seven. You are young. All these boys planet boys, if you're going <laughs> to debut in a group with nobodies, make sure it's a big four company. Mm -hmm. If you're going to debut in a not big four company, you need you to make sure it's filled bunch. with the boys planet or no. And training. don't pull no Eileen one. If yes. You are, you, you made it to the semifinals. You need to have about three other semifinals with you. Yeah. Not the people don't who have early out girls. One. Yeah. No. No. And, mm -mm, no that was... <laughs> It ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. That is it. 
and people I want to have like you don't have to re debut or whatever, but you need to be on social media. You need to be a, 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 a so number one. I need shake and go. He needs to come on. Weren't well. we just saying? No one cares about the first out boys. We're talking, He's about, we're talking about we're talking about people in groups, not not influencers. Oh, so you want you want this man to be an <laughs> influencer? <laughs> not you shaking the wig. He was like, "I want to be your leader." I was like, "You better shake that hair." <laughs> and you know who I want in another survival show, but a struggle survival show. They need to bring back like under 19 or something like that. And it's just a deploy. He, he needs to come back. <laughs> bring him back. Give him a few more months to train. Bring now, I have a back. question. What's up? When you quote him, are you actually singing a song or are you just saying sound oh, no. effects? Okay. I don't think it's sound effects. I don't know Korean. So I was like, maybe this guy I, is. Literally... First off, neither does he. <laughs> From what I understand, they gave him the Chinese like breakdown of how to just make the the noises. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he pronounced it as well. All I heard was boa, and I heard claps, <laughs> and I'm like, great. I didn't even know that that song existed. He should have made it to the finale and not debuted. There's a lot of people that should have made it to the finale and not debuted. Yeah, and he's not one of them. <laughs> he's. The He's the kind of guy that makes you to the second round and then Oh true. But he I want him in another thing. You know who you know what? Bring back Chuang. He's great for that. True. I, I wish Chuang was here. He would be perfect for that. China would love him, including me. We could vote. China is so sick for getting rid of the idol program. No, they were healthy for that because they said, y'all not going to be dumping yogurts in the freaking Yeah, lake. I know. <laughs> they said no pollution and idols like are toxic to it these It wasn't mines pollution. And... It was food waste. Oh, yeah. Food it was the Beijing food ordinance that posed that whole thing. And the, the, the social effect of idol programs and whatever. Yeah. Like, yes, yes, they were very <clears throat> smart with everything they did. But what about me? What about what I want? <laughs> I know. They said the only way you'll have idols is that they're over 30 and we throw up milk. Mm -hmm. Uh but he needs wow. to come back on some type of iteration of something. And that's I hope Doha. He needs to be on, he needs to start acting. Mm -hmm. Cube, make him act. Do something with him. That's yeah. all I care about. There's no one I'm really forgetting in it. Well, for me, I'm looking for Chen. Kwan, looking forward to Chen Kwan Jui's future because he seemed uh, like he really wants to be in the K-pop industry, and I feel like he has a good image for that too. Like visually, he has good visuals for that. So I'm looking for. I mean, besides Wumuti, because I watch his his anti fragile cover. Oh yeah, YouTube. he's good. I know, but I think it's I, mostly him, Wumuti. I don't know what Wake One's about to do with Anthony. Like they're probably gonna waste he's, my time. He's so. Not, he's not in Wake. What? The the T is he's in Stacy's company. <gasps> That's good for him. It is not confirmed, but the T is he's in higher one. I hope so, because Wake One is terrible. That is but so basically the rumors are true that they just recruited some boys for Boys Planet. Like yeah. just sign a temporary contract so we can get you on this show. Yeah. All right, as long as he leaves after, then okay. The T is he's not even there anymore. Good. That's good. Like good for him and good for me. So we'll see. I hope they snatch some more guys. Mm -hmm. They just need. They just need three. And two unknowns. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, because I said this. Listen to me, universe. All right. Don't pull a seraphim and bring six. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. you you okay? Bring in, bring in one more foreign boy. You can choose any of the Korean ones that didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Any of them. But not Park Hanbin. Save him for something else. Or choose some of the people from that uh like classy boy group thing that they're doing that don't make it. Yeah. There's like they're happening at the same time. 
These yeah. companies are just getting free money. Love it. This is going to be great. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say, really. Yeah, I think so. Same here. Like the lineup it seems cohesive to me. I hope Huey may gives us another energetic. Ah! And that's all I need. Like one of one, the only song I know by them is energetic. I just need this debut song to be good. <laughs> you see, you're I follow one of one, but for all the wrong reasons. You're sick. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's everything. Am I sick or healthy? Both. Great. <laughs> and so are you. Similarities like company. But that's all I have to say. That's yeah. all I think you have to say here as well. I think that's everything. That's everything. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh wait! What's my other favorite? <laughs> Why does the first round stick to me more than anything else in this entire show? The demo stage has always set the mood for the program, you know. So the demo in the first round was great. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come in? What happened to Oh Christian? He's like, I am free. Yeah. <laughs> And he's not going to let any company pick him up. I think he just doesn't want to be in that industry. He was he's like, done. oh, this was cute at first, but I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So I'm going to go ahead and head out. I <laughs> want myself out. I don't need this. And he really doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, I really wanted Jay in this group. Because it was Jay and Tay-Day and Matthew, the vocals, man. Let's be honest. Jay's vocals are kind of too good for this. Yeah, they Let's are. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's, it's true. I know people don't like his like American style. Maybe because I'm American, I really like it. Let's be real. Yeah. It's kind of like vocally. Even he, uh, uh, controvert, like hot take. The best vocalist on the show. All right, let's say it. All right, great. Yeah. Great, we got that out there. He was the best vocalist on the show. And he's kind of too good for this group. It, would the group be better with him? Yes. Mm -hmm. But does he need the group? No. But did he need the show? Yes. Yeah. Yep. But that's well, everything. Well, we finished. <laughs> Feels freeing. But tell us what you guys think in the comments. Mm -hmm. We love you so much for watching and tuning in. And uh, we have some uh, other stuff in store for you guys. So stay tuned. Uh, other than that, we'll be talking to you guys in the comments. All right. Take care, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And uh... <laughs>